Hello, my name is Stefanos Mastrotheodoros, and I'm going to briefly talk to you about a study that was recently published in Family Process, and the title of the study is Explaining Heterogeneity of Daily Conflict Spillover in the Family, the Role of Dyadic Marital Conflict Patterns. I wrote this study along my colleague um, Lauren Papp from the University of Wisconsin at Madison, and my colleagues at Utrecht University in the Netherlands, Julien van der Graaf, Maya Dekovic, Wim Meus, and Suzanne Branje. The aim of this presentation of this study was to scrutinize between family differences in within family conflict dynamics. Essentially, we were trying to see whether the three main ideas of uh, how mar marital conflict might affect parent-child conflict, that is the ideas of spillover, compensatory and compartmentalization hypothesis apply to different families. In addition, we tried to see whether stable, relatively stable patterns of uh, how parents resolve conflict when conflict emerges can predict whether marital conflict will affect parent-child conflict. We know that there are three main ideas, three main theoretical hypotheses for how marital conflict might or might not affect parent-child conflict. Those ideas actually are uh, basically uh, contrasting each other. The mostly cited and the most commonly uh, referred to idea is the spillover hypothesis, which assumes a positive association between marital conflict and parent-child conflict. So every time marital conflict happens, the chances for parent-child conflict increase. In contrast, the compensatory hypothesis uh, assumes a negative association between marital conflict and parent-child conflict. This idea uh, states that any time that marital conflict happens, the chances for parent-child conflict decrease because parents are trying to invest in a better relationship with their child. Third, another idea is the compartmentalization hypothesis, which assumes no significant association between marital conflict and parent-child conflict. Additionally, we know that families differ uh, among each other. So what happens in one family might not apply to another family. And the, these are the between family differences that we are trying to explain in this uh, study. So in one family, there might be uh, that uh, any time marital conflict happens, the chances for parent-child conflict increase. So therefore, for this family, it would be a spillover pattern, whereas for another family, it might be a compensatory pattern. And any time marital conflict happened, there could be a decrease in the chances that parent-child conflict would happen. So these are between family differences and within family dynamics. So it's how families differ in what happens in the degree that something happening in one diet will affect the other diet. So the research questions of this study were two. First, whether there is significant heterogeneity in within family conflict effects. So whether families differ regarding the short term effects of daily marital conflict on daily parent adolescent conflict. And the second research question was whether long term patterns of marital conflict resolution can explain those differences um, among families and within family effects. So whether a long term conflict resolution patterns, whether how parents resolve conflict when conflict emerges can explain the chances that a marital conflict will affect parent child conflict. We applied a series of uh, techniques in the structural equation modeling uh, framework, uh, like latent class growth analysis and dynamic structural equation modeling. And the main finding of this study was that we found significant heterogeneity. For most families, as you can see in this graph, there was a null effect, a non-significant effect between day one marital conflict and day two parent-child conflict. Whereas for a reasonable number of families, there was either a positive or a negative association. So assume that marital conflict happens on Monday. For most families, this had no effect whatsoever on whether um, parent-child conflict would happen on Tuesday. But for some families, there was a positive association, uh, um, which means that uh, Monday marital conflict would increase uh, the chances for uh, Tuesday parent-child conflict or decrease depending on uh, which group the family was. So you can see that in that graph. 
I hope that you will download and read this study. Uh, keep in mind that this is open access and you can download it and read it for free. And keep in mind also that I will be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. You can send me an email and thank you for your attention.